we consider the message is important. Okay, I heard this story from a tourist guy in New Delhi in 1986. He was taking us to in front of uh, National Medical Research Institute building, which is a very high rise building, and he was showing. And this was established by our uh, former Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. And there is a story behind how this building was uh, inaugurated. And then he shared the story. The story was Jawaharlal Nehru, I mean, former Prime Minister of Independence <coughs> India, the like modern architect of India. Once he fell sick in the parliament. I mean, the parliament session was going on. And he fell sick of cardiac arrest. And immediately, on an urgent call, all Indian medical experts were called to, to come to Delhi with a special flight or helicopter, whatever. And many of them flew to Delhi and, and they sat together and they were discussing what to do for the medical cure of our Prime Minister and Prime Minister was lying on the bed and they are taking care of him and and, and all the doctors in the medical board decided in a very serious discussion and decision was that Prime Minister should be immediately taken to England for better treatment. Hmm? But there was a kind of legal complication because Prime Minister is the leader of the <coughs> parliament. And if anybody goes overseas, a parliament member needs permission from the leader of the parliament. But leader of the parliament, parliament himself will say. So who should give him permission? And they were talking about that. In the meantime, fortunately, Jawaharlal Nehru got his sense back. And he could realize what happened. And he was looking around. And he was surrounded by all uh, 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 doctors. And many of the doctors are known to him. He, he knew them by name. Okay? And then doctors are a little happy to see him getting his sense back. And, and sir, how are you feeling? Yeah, I think so, sir. I, 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 though not all right, but uh, I think I should realize what happened. Then, after a few seconds, he asked, Okay, yes, as I felt sick, uh, what did you decide? I know you are all the best doctors in the country. And, and all of them at a time said, Sir, we all decided that you should be immediately taken. We, we all decided. What did you decide? We decided that you should be immediately taken to London. And then Jawaharlal Nehru looked look around all the doctors. And then he said, Dr. Nambudiri Pak, you are from Chennai, you are a great doctor, your father was a doctor as well. So what is your personality? Sir, same decision. Dr. Mukherjee, you are from Calcutta, and by hearing your name, your patients get half cured. What is your decision? Sir, I have the same decision. And this is how he named and many of them, and everybody said the same. And then, there was a pause for few seconds. Prime Minister was not saying anything. And doctors, all of them were looking at him. And then Prime Minister asked, looking at the doctors, if Prime Minister doesn't go to London Hospital, sir, the nation will suffer. You might expire. Oh, okay, I understand. Yes. But don't you think a Prime Minister of an independent country cannot be treated by his own doctor? Don't you think he better die? <laughs> <laughs> And think about an ordinary patient of India, how he would suffer. I won't go. I want to be treated by you. I have all confidence of you. And that time, all doctors sincerely treated him and he got here. But Jawaharlal Nehru, right after his recovery from this problem, he did one incident. What did he did? He opened the flag of the All India Medical Institute building. And in the inauguration time moment, he said, 
our doctors are experienced, knowledgeable, and trusted by their parents. They have high reputation, no doubt about it, but they lack one thing. What? They lack confidence. And where confidence comes from? Confidence comes from research. Our doctors are not experienced in research. I have inaugurated this building. Our doctors will carry out modern research. They will keep in touch with all research activities in the rest of the world. And they will, uh, they will start their questions. Okay? Without modern research, nobody can claim I'm a modern doctor. Okay? So I have all trust with you, but I want you to carry out research and to improve, uh, improve your skills as a doctor, knowledge as a doctor, and then treat our patients. And this is how Jawaharlal Nehru taught a lesson to the doctor, though he himself was not a doctor. Right? Doctors did, did never read this kind of lesson in their uh, academic books. So this is something, a leadership. Okay? So Jawaharlal Nehru was a political leader, but he taught doctors. Right? Thank you, so, sir. So uh, this anecdote <laughs> that, yes, uh, Leader is a teacher. Leader is a teacher. Teacher. Leader is a teacher. So Sadhguru Karo. So Sadhguru. Is that here? He is a so Sadhguru performer. She also reformer. Okay. What attributes do you think a teacher leader should have? What qualities? Give me some adjectives. He should be visionary. Visionary. I have heard. Okay, good. Others? Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Positive. Visionary, knowledgeable, positive. Experience. Experience, inspiring. Yes. So good character. Good character. We shall give the character. Such character. Such character. <laughs> Motivating. Hmm? Motivating personality. Motivating. Okay. Most important thing is that he must make a difficult thing. Easy to the students. Most okay. 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 difficult. Leadership. Yes. Is you must make thing. things clear. Making difficult easy. things Practice. easier. Okay. What? Any 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 other important quality? Devoted. Passion. Devoted. 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 It is another good quality of a leader that teacher is delegating his responsibility. For example, a teacher might ask a question. Usually, students ask questions, a lot of questions to the teachers. Teacher can directly answer. That's pretty traditional, right? Because teacher is knowledgeable. Teacher answers. Teacher was asked the question, and he is supposed to answer. He may not. He can invite others. Who knows the answer? Yes. Okay. And some students might try, and some of their responses may be right or partially right. But even the partial responses are also encouraging students to, to speak. Teacher may add something else. In the right? This is how delegating responsibilities. Okay, this is how we want to say facilitate. If I answer directly, then I am a teacher, typically. But if I delegate my responsibility with others, even some students may respond totally wrong. Doesn't matter. But he has attempted. He encouraged them. Right. Encouraging them to, to speak. So teacher job, teacher doesn't know everything. Let us take this maxim. As we often say, the teacher knows everything, teacher doesn't know everything. Sometimes the students know better than teachers, than teachers in some areas. So we need to share, and, and this is our, uh, as we are familiar with that I plus one, comprehensible input, that what they know, we want to add at least one more, one step. Okay. okay. So there are a few more attributes here. Teacher should be student-centered. He demonstrates effective and innovative classroom teaching strategies with a variety of resources. So teacher should be resourceful. Not only from only single shots, okay. And is a good classroom teaching strategy. Okay. So is a good communicator. You agree? Teacher should be a good communicator. 
demonstrates leadership in working with colleagues. So that is also another area that when you work with the students, so you work with colleagues as well. Okay? This is also another way of uh, developing our collegiality. Okay, he's a risk taker who is self-directed in solving problems, one who thrives on change. This is something important, on change. Uh, teachers need to change himself or herself, but at the same time needs for others to change. Understand the role of challenges of being a mentor. How do you say it? Mentor? Shows the way. Shows the way. Guides. Yes. Inspires. Okay. Wishes to investigate the effective use of technology. Nowadays, use of technology has become an integral part of our education. So we can't really avoid it. So how we can incorporate and, and, and uh, become used to or dealing with technology and how technology can expedite, augment our teaching learning resources. And teacher must be well different regarding use of technology. That is also important. Okay. And provide authentic learning experiences of, uh, for students in his or her classroom. So this is taken from Russell 1998, but maybe there are a few more uh, things. Or, uh, uh, this is not, of course, all conclusive. Or, uh, so we can add uh, something else. Uh, what do you think? Is there anything we can add to this list?